Good morning, welcome back to a new video. Today we're again here at the tractor. We're getting the jobs done. It's been a lot of snow actually, so we want to try this thing out and scoop out our snow. We do need it scooped out because we want to go to store and we need to go get the parts for our car to replace our windshield. So what we will do, we'll go take off the fork that we have from yesterday's job of getting the roll. We'll put on the plow and we're going to try to plow out. This is my first time doing this. I'm still getting used to the tractor and it, all its power. So getting the plow on and uh, starting that work is going to be a bit crazy. And I'm really excited and really happy and I want to see what it can do. So let's get it started first so it can warm up and we can change up the part. So it looks like our shovel is only made to work with this one. I for some reason thought it's the three point hitch, but it's not. It is using completely different technique, which is attaching here at the bottom and here on the top. So we need to take this one off and put it on our new tractor. I didn't want to put it on mostly because it doesn't look the best and it's going to ruin the cute look. But it definitely is helpful to have that shovel in the front and we can remove it after the snow season is gone uh, and put it back on this tractor. So maybe whenever this tractor is fixed, it can be the shoveling tractor. And this one will do the jobs that this tractor can also do. I guess they both can do the same jobs, but this is our kind of main tractor for now until this one gets fixed. Let's get started by removing this guy first. Let's hope the tractor doesn't fall apart because those screws that hold this on is also holding on the front wheels onto the frame. It's a bit of a messy design, but let's see what we can do. Do you need help maybe to put it Simply. on? Huh? Simply. Yeah, because we need to split them. They're falling in.
Mark's a boy. Go home, Max. Max? He's eating hay. Maxi! What are you doing? No more escaping. So it's the next day. Yesterday in the evening we just tried it a bit, just to see how it works, plus to work with some lights because it was kind of interesting. And today we're going to properly scoop because I can actually see what I'm doing. And uh, we had it actually adjusted sideways a bit, so it was one bolt higher and one lower on one side, so it was going in the ground on one side and one is in the air. Let's start it up and see how we can scoop it off. That's pretty much it. Uh, I must say, 
scooping snow or snow plowing is a lot harder than it looks and especially on uneven terrain and our middle of the road has like a bump you know it's driven out the lines and the middle is a bump so that was non-stop getting caught and actually once I hit it so hard I hit a rock or something that it punched out the, one of the pins with the needle just snapped off and it punched it out and it made the blade go you know the other direction but I put it back and it's all good but yes it's a lot difficult I think I have some parts where it's still not the easiest to drive through with a car so I might just have to redo it again but uh, yeah I don't have enough power left I did knock myself a bit so I'm out of energy and not able to keep going for it today but another day i might come back and redo it it only took us like i think like 10 minutes to do yeah. it so and if it doesn't melt because the weather says yeah it might melt down so because it is getting in pluses again we wanted to do it because you know you never know if the snow is going to come back so we wanted to try it out and see how to do it you know the more you do it the more you practice in case a big snowstorm comes i have to do it maybe some big snow the only other problem is that the wheels were spinning non-stop, the front wheels are not connected, the linkage for the front wheels is missing, so we don't have all-wheel drive, and the back wheels don't have any chains or any winter tires, so they're just like spinning most of the time, so it was really hard to push through a big layer of snow, I pretty much had to leave quite a big gap on the ground to scoop over the top layer and leave the bottom layer, but yeah, other than that, it's all good. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope it was interesting, we're gonna see you next time, bye-bye.